Okay, so what do they consider to be the American dream? As usual, being a Jamaican, I'm kind of naive to some of these things. I mean, I'm not American. I've never, I've heard of, about the American dream, but not in as much detail as I would like. So I went on a quest to find out from my boss and my other coworkers what it means, um, what the American dream really means. Take a look. Hi, my name is Craig Westcott, and I am CEO and co-owner of the Track Family Fun Parks in Branson, Missouri. It's all right back here, one of our locations. Uh, so what is the American dream? I think of my dad, and I think of how he was a teacher, and he was a coach, and he eventually sold tractors and farm equipment, and he decided one day with not a, not, not a lot of money in his pocket and not a lot of connections to come to Branson, Missouri, where he had graduated high school many years ago and start this business. And guess what? 36 years later, we're still here. We have a successful business. He's retired. I'm his son. I took over uh, along with my business partner. And, uh, and opportunities just keep going. So it's kind of where it doesn't matter what you had to start. Uh, as long as you have that dream and vision, which is what my dad had to start this company, then it was time, uh, it was a great opportunity. And then now that I'm in here, uh, you know, with things like we have opportunities to buy a world famous Ferris wheel from Chicago, Illinois, that sat at Navy Pier for 20 years. So uh, again, that happened over a lunch conversation and then an email. And we, uh, you know, sometimes you kind of have to make your opportunities happen and uh, balance that with letting them happen and let them come your way. So I think that's my version right now, the American dream. So do you ladies think that the American dream is real? Is it attainable? Or is it just like a social construct that makes people feel like America is a great state or a great um, country? No, I actually believe that the American dream is real. That you can come from nothing, be dirt poor, and if you put the work into it, and you know, and in your career, and you work hard, you can absolutely go into whatever it is that you want to do. There are rags to riches stories absolutely everywhere in this country, and that still happens today. It's not just something in history. Awesome. Not only that, but you see people on the side of the road all the time begging for money, and especially when you're in a land, if you were to go anywhere and put a job application in, you would actually more than likely get that job. So people think that the American dream is real because they see people on the side of the road begging for money, and they think, well, when you come to America, this isn't the American dream. Like, you don't, you can't go anywhere. You're just going to be here poor, but that's not the case at all. People are just too lazy to actually get out there and apply themselves. And that goes back to what I said with we as Americans, we take it or we don't take advantage of the opportunities because we're too above the job. We don't want to go out and pick up garbage. We don't want to be the laborers. We want other people to come and do it. But I mean, there are literally thousands of jobs available, and that's what there are work pieces for for other people in other countries who want these opportunities to come in and do it because Americans are too lazy to do it themselves. But this doesn't apply to everybody. It's not a generalization. It's just as a fact of part of the population. Um, and so the people who think the American dream doesn't exist are the people who aren't willing to put in the work to achieve it. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Okay, so now you guys have seen what everybody else has to say about the American dream. And putting all those together and um, based on what I've read, what I've heard, and how much I've spoken to others, this is my take on the American dream. It exists to a certain extent or to a certain um, set of people and it's basically all about 
working hard to make the best of the opportunities that you're given here in the United States of America. Everybody knows that the United States have been seen as a world power and they have a lot of influence around the world and a lot of people around the world. They leave where they are at to come here to the United States to work and to make um, money and to use that money to support their families back home. Much like um, the Mexicans or for example us as J1 students we are here for cultural exchange but at the same time we have the opportunity to work and to make the best of this opportunity that we are given um, as J1 students and so what the American dream is it's just encouraging everybody to make the best about of their opportunities whether it's here in the United States or elsewhere and it's all about building a great nation it's about making America see, be seen as that world power that everybody knows it to be, and that its people are well taken care of, its industries are fully inhabited by persons who would like to work and um, make a living and not live off the government. However, you have a lot of people who do not believe or do not appreciate the fact that they can get up every day, go to work. There are always jobs that um, they can apply to or they can get hired to. For example, here in Branson, when I just came to Branson in 2016, every window, every store window, every restaurant, every window that you walk into, they have a sign, Help Wanted. They're always hiring. Yet still, there are a lot of people who are not applying for these jobs. There are not a, a lot of people who are just sitting home, um, benefiting off the government's budget and stuff like that. And they have the opportunity, whereas there are lots of people in the world. For I can say um, without apology that there are a lot of people in Jamaica that would love to come here and work um, to help to support their families because we don't have the number of jobs that we need back home to help people to get on their feet. There are a lot of people in Jamaica who would love to come here and do that and you have people here that have the opportunity to work and make something of themselves. They sit home and they try to benefit off the American government. You know, so the American dream actually has two sides. Um, it just depends on where you're sitting or how you're looking at it. It exists, but at the same time, there's a part of it that needs improvement. I mean, Trump's um, Make America Great Again campaign probably has something to do with that. Uh, I hope that he works towards that, and I hope that people see that this is these are areas that they need to adjust in, and these are areas that they need to be focused on when it comes to making America great again. It's all about um, the pride and the work that you put in. So that's my take really on the American dream.